welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. Okay, so I have been inspired by a fellow uh, Fluid Art and Paint Pouring group member. Um, her name is Gilly with a G. Gilly Rice Cube or Cube. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, she does beautiful artwork. And I actually, she did make a video. She's not a YouTuber, but she made a quick video. And it's essentially is a swipe and then you um, balloon kiss she calls it a kiss after you do the swipe so I haven't done a swipe in a long time so fingers crossed oh my gosh so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get some paint on the canvas here Let's see how much I have and you just kind of the paint on there and this is leftover paint from my last pour so I have silicone in this and she doesn't talk about what her pouring medium is um, or the consistency that I noticed so I'm kind of just winging it and using the consistency paint that I already have in this mix hoping for the best Leaving my my bright orange for the kind of top layer. Have a little gold here. As far as I know, it doesn't matter a whole lot your background color with the swipe. So I'm just going all willy-nilly here. I'm going to move this around and see if I can get all the canvas covered. That's going to be good enough. Wow, that looks really crazy, doesn't it? Okay. So, I have this, um, it's just a plastic that came with a canvas that I bought, and I'm going to use it to swipe. But I'm going to run white across the top.
Here goes nothing. That one spot didn't seem to get as much pressure as the other spots. Wait and see what happens. Go ahead and swipe this last section over here. Making room. The table's not big enough. The table's never big enough, is it? big old thing is really hard to control. minutes. I'm not really liking what I'm seeing here. These cells are really small. Let's see if I can get them to move a little bit, maybe open up. think my experiment's working. Okay, so the second step to this is supposed to be use your balloon kiss. So I just blew up a glove and I'm going to kiss it. Probably ruin it. <laughs> oh boy, Let me get a hold of this thing. Okay, here we go. Ooh, not bad. Okay, might be able to save this thing. I'm gonna wipe it off each time. And I think I'm just gonna like hit the spots that there's not a lot going on. Like this spot right here. My cells were better. I could see this turning out to be really amazing, but I'm just gonna keep going. What do I have to lose, right? Oh, really? That one looks amazing. Hey, I'm pretty sure you need to clean your balloon pretty good each time. Or your glove, your balloon, whatever you wanna call it. And little cells are coming up inside of those flowers. I guess I'll name them. This needs some help right here. And I'm going straight up, straight down, pressing, I'm pressing kind of firmly. I 
I like this technique. Thank you, Gilly. Jilly. However you pronounce your name. Okay, I'm gonna do another one right here. Hold on, I'm losing grip. string that happened when I pulled it up. It was dripping. My corner wasn't covered, so I kind of tapped it. I really like those cells, so I kind of want to leave that spot alone. And I wish I had some blue there. I think I might even, I might even put some blue here. practically bare canvas. Put a little bit of orange right there. I just want to do it all over the place and go crazy, but I have to practice a little restraint. I mean, that one, maybe I need to redo because of what happened. Ooh, good job. Yes. I mean, I don't think it's as good as hers, but There's no rules, right guys? It's your canvas. You can do what you want. It's the beauty. Cells are coming out of the balloon kisses in a major way. All right, here we go in this corner. Much better, more multicolored. So cool, guys. What a wonderful idea she had. I'm totally giving her credit for this. But I may do this again. That's really pretty. I think I might be done. I don't want to mess with it too much. All right, I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. And uh, I hope you like it as much as I do. This is really cool. And this swipe turned out terrible. I want to do one more, but I don't know if I should. I'm going to do this. Okay. All right, that's it. I'm backing off. Back away. Okay, 
bring you guys in. Hold on a second. Okay, here it is dry, everybody. Um, I am in love with this thing. It dried so good. Uh, I did use GAC in all of the pouring medium on this one, and I think that made a difference. This spot right here, doesn't that look like a peacock kind of right here with a tail? Isn't that neat? And um, what I'm liking is each flower, if you will, it kind of looks like a little explosion, like a firework. When the cells kind of grow out of it, and because it sells up again, <clears throat> like look at this one. It sells up again. And uh, I like the negative space. Someone commented, because I, I showed you guys this already when it was wet. And so I hope that you didn't mind that the video was blurry. I warned you. Uh, but you got to see what colors I used and how I applied it to get this beautiful blue background, which I do, I do prefer this one over the other one. I'm going to try it again. <clears throat> Um, I don't know if I'm going to make a video right now about it. I've got another idea for the next video that I might do. And you guys have to wait and see what's coming next. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, like my video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye now.